Hey guys, welcome to Traditional Bow Hunting Wilderness Podcast. This is Jason Samkovic, and today we're going to do an update here and talk about some of the options on the TBWS harness. Uh, this is what John calls it. It's made by the Tactus Saddle and uh, TactusSaddle.com. There'll be information below for you. And he calls it on there. He calls it the TBWS for Traditional Bow Hunting Wilderness Survival uh, Tree Stand Harness is what he has it named as, and it is on there. Um, but we have. Uh, different options available for it and we have some different features in here now it's been through a bunch of prototype designs these are the three that I have here um, the buckles that are on these these two here are have been replaced and are now with everyone that gets now you will have these new lighter weight buckles same function same basic concept but they are a, a, a high space grade alloy and lighter than these steel ones uh, so they will be coming with these they're also a lot smoother so the new buckles are on all of them now so even though you see them on here it's it is all new buckle style on these right here like that too but you basically get this thing in three different ways you can have it uh, with fixed leg position straps on here so they are fixed and they do not over they do not detach and you can get it with a quick detach i will show you both and then you can also get it with rings if you want instead of lineman belt loops if we look at this first one here which is first is a, a buckle style and we have this on here with this setup we have the actual um adjustable loops but they do not disconnect this is one piece so you are going to step through this design of this that is my favorite because it is quiet okay when it's on there they don't make any noise they're a quiet system um but they do give up the convenience of having the quick detach on here where you can see right here you got a quick detach buckle this will feed right into it and go right in and this will plug right into that and lock right on there like that so you get this quick detach buckle that quick detach buckle is a nice feature for quick easy on and off but you can hear there is a little noise associated with that buckle um, and I don't know how you could beat that so um, but again it's not going to be noisy when it's on only putting it on and taking it off will you actually hear that once it's on it's stable so those are your, your versions so don't be afraid of the quick disconnect like I said once it's on your body it's fine but putting it on you will get a little bit of noise factor from it and you do have a chance of, of things banging into each other and making a little bit more noise again once it's on you don't have that then the third option here is with the rings which you can get in a detached buckle or non-detached but I have the rings on mine on here too rather than actually having Lyman belt loops I went with a ring instead too uh, which you'll also notice that on a Lyman belt loop you come in from the top on a ring you're going to come in from the side I will show you the differences so with that said if we take a look at this one here this is the fixed position um, one again remember they will all have the newer buckles but so you put this on it is a step through design this is the big difference between that and disconnect or quick detach is that I'm actually stepping into this one it's gonna come on you're gonna get it set where you want it to be and then you're gonna lock this on now obviously I'm not wearing the belt that I would and stuff like that but so you see you're on and you have your lineman belt loops right here your buckles here and again those new buckles are so nice and smooth but so here you are and you're set and here's your harness basically this is what you end up with okay I run my tether this is hunt ready ready to go I have my lineman belt loops right here for me to be able to use uh, and it is a very functional harness you have adjustability in the back here where you can make that all these do the whole concept of these is to keep this from dropping down your leg when you're walking you can adjust these cut them wherever you want to I have not messed with that too much yet on here because I have I'm going to be using the other harness more but um, but so you can adjust that any way you want to once you have this adjusted where you want you can cut this off or tie them in a knot or do whatever you want to do with them they're you know he gives you that extra slack so that you can fine tune that and then you're going to trim that off how you want it to be but this is that harness right here with the fixed position Lyman belt loops you have molly all the way around here so if you want to connect anything on there you are welcome to do that you have the spaces too to put bags or anything on there and uh, very functional very comfortable just an awesome lightweight harness so I love this something I want to point out to you too that you will notice on this thing is too is when you adjust these okay you're because of the fact that the buckle is here okay so your buckle is off to the side 
there's no way to put a buckle in the middle of this and have that buckle be here in between here because this loop unlike a saddle bridge is not long so when you if you had it in the middle where both of these sides come and buckle in the center then what we would you know if you had a longer bridge you could open that up and the bridge would just stretch out and then you could fit between your body between it to put them on you don't have that luxury to do in this type of a setup because you're not running a huge long bridge you have this uh be this uh this connection device here which you're connecting to is shorter so it won't give you that expansion so the buckle has to be on either side he makes this one here in a left-handed version. I have a right to which I will show you, but it puts the buckle over here on your left side for me as a left-handed shooter so it is out of the way. So the buckle is on this side, keeping this strap out of the way from over here where I shoot from. So it's a left-handed setup for me. He also makes it in a right-handed one. Something to note though is with that, as you adjust this, this lineman belt loop is on this adjustable section okay this is here so if you are going you know when john builds them he custom makes these 100 percent to your body size okay they are built for your body size and what you're at so when he does that he is going to try as hard as he can to center these loops right out perfect for you and have them set uh, based on your body shape and your dimer some people are more wide some are more round there's variables that you can't be 100 percent sure of and if you're wearing less clothes versus wearing more clothes you're going to get some variance depending on how you're going to wear this if you're going to wear it in tight one day and then the next day it might be out two inches further because of clothing what's going to happen is this loop is going to shift slightly around you okay so he's going to do everything he can to put them right here on your sides but then if you wear other clothes you might be offset just a little bit there's no way around it it doesn't hurt anything but it is part of the game because of the fact that that these loops have to travel and it would be the same on any rock style harness with an asymmetrical buckle okay there's no way around it and this being one of the first kinds ever like this where we're putting loops on these there's you have to understand that you may have them perfect or if you're wearing then put on bulky clothes you might have a little bit of an offset like this mild very small but you might you know you might have slight offset changes in how those are sitting doesn't affect nothing i'll show you even a bigger example of that here in a minute but it's not going to matter but understand when you have this adjustability in a loop look at when i let that all the way out Okay, look at where that loop is now, okay? Because it has to be drawn in to take that slack up, but when it does, it's going to change based on your diameter of your body and where you're at is going to move that, that around. So something to think about, but this is that harness. This is the fixed position here. So with being fixed position, I have to actually look, or, uh, slide the slack out of the legs each time and then basically walk out of this harness is what I gotta do. So it's not, quite as quick and simple but that is the fixed position harness this next one is a detachable harness a detachable leg strap one here which these straps are detached so it's nice so all you have to do is fit between the back strap and the 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 hip strap so it's very easy to do you just have one strap to straddle which is this back support strap you're seeing in here so putting this on is much quicker and easier because you don't have to fish your feet through the leg straps just drop in just like this you put this right on once you have it where you want this is a right-handed version you can see the buckle here on the right okay you're going to tighten this up and get this set where you want it so you're in Again, see how straps are right there perfect. Everything is good here. This thing is an excellent harness. Now we have this buckle here. I take this one from around back and I bring it up. I can adjust this once I have it set. It is just a matter of pushing this through and now I am locked in, okay? And I can have that adjusted and set already. So it's pre-set on there and same here. I just take this one and I bring it up and around and then I just feed it through the buckle and I am locked in and set and then I take and pull the slack on this one here too and I can adjust it wherever I want it to be once I have that adjusted I'm set there oh actually I got that one in twisted hold on let's untwist that bring that around this way like so and uh, but once I push that in and have that set I can fix this where I want and then just leave it there all the time. So now that harness can stay set in this particular spot and I never have to fool with it 
when I want to disconnect, I just pop those buckles. So I'll show you that. But again, Lyman belt loops right here. These ones have glow in the dark and orange on them. So they're very easy to see. Um, I really like this harness a lot too. And the quick detach is nice because then all I got to do is just lift this and drop them right through the slot and they are disconnected. I don't have to loosen it, step through and readjust for next time. So when I put this back on, I'm ready. All I have to do is take this piece and bring it right up and around and just slide it in and I am officially locked in. Okay, but you heard that little bit of noise. But once it's on, quiet, doesn't make a sound. It's just putting it on and taking it off, you might get a little rattle through that buckle on there. You can adjust them like I just did. See, we got it pulled way out. Okay, or, and, you know, so you can still adjust them anytime, but the beauty of it is being able to leave them pre-adjusted where you got them and just drop them in and out real quick and easy to put them on and off and pop them through and like that and you just got to mess with the top buckle and you are set. So that is that harness there with the quick detach. Now the other one is the one I had made with my rings. Now mine is a little unique here because of the fact that I told John on there, I said, hey, look, I'm going to Georgia. I'm going to be moving to Georgia. Um, I'm the heaviest weight I've ever been at. I'm 188 pounds right now. And uh, I would, you know, when I get down there, given the fact that I'll be working in the heat all the time and as active as I will be and hunting as much as I will be and chasing pigs and all that stuff, I said, I plan on losing some weight. So let's make this one a 32 instead of a 34 waist, which these pants, for example, are a 34. Let's go back down to a 32 with this. So he made it a little smaller for me and it was also his first time attempt making rings, doing these rings on here. So with mine, again, being a step through, you see I gotta fish my foot through that hole, that leg hole on there. Okay, you gotta kind of step into it and then I gotta fish my foot into there and get it into that hole. So not as simple as the, uh, the leg one, you know, the quick detached leg model, but just takes a second. Get it set up, get it where you want it. Now with mine, I still have these actually tight, there we go. And so you get it set where you want it to be, you're all good there. Now with the rings, you are good here, we'll bring it in, okay, and set. I have rings on this one. Now here's a good point of that too, a good example. John got these off a little bit, okay, they're not exactly right, or I'm not skinny enough. Now, if I were to really suck this dude in, where I plan on being here in a few months, then I'm setting up perfect. Look at those are set just about perfect spot on those rings. But right now, as being, you know, being heavier, notice now that these rings are offset here a little bit, okay? This one is where it should be. This one is starting to creep back a little bit where you'd want it to be about right there. So I'm off an inch or two perfect example of that weight change in your design here as you're, you shift things around. But uh, like I said, it doesn't bother me at all. Um, and uh, eventually, maybe next year if I want to, he's so busy with them now, I'm gonna use this one all year this year. Next year if I want, I'll send him this harness, he'll cut these rings off and make me another one and uh, fix that a little bit if it needs to. But with this, so when you look at mine, understand it was the first attempt at this with the rings and it is a prototype setup. And uh, this is, like I said, yours will be a little closer into that and it was, these will be set up here where they should be. But realistically, it doesn't bother me and I kind of think there's a nice little neat trade-off as I climbed with it that I actually like and which is why I'm, I'm going to use it. But when I'm climbing up the tree, when I put this on a tree, it straightens this out anyway like this, okay? It automatically is going to pull these perfectly in line and they are set perfect. I like that position with the rings. I like where they are. I'm happy with that. And it pulls it, but notice it kind of shifts this over to the side. That's kind of cool because of the fact that I am going to run, as I showed you in my quick link video, which I will link at the end of this, quick link better, or is this better than a quick link? I will be running both my... Lyman belt or as I get yelled at for positioning lanyard along with a running bowline version of this on the tree as I climb. Well because I'm going to be running this rope and I'm going to have it up here I want it over here on this side. So it's kind of nice that this shifts over a little bit when that centers those Lyman belt loops out on mine that it runs the rope on this side instead of right here right in front of me down the middle by shifting that, it puts it over on the side exactly like I want. Because then I take my stick and I throw the rope around and I, I, I have this rope running. Let's put this out here. You'll see this in some of my up climbing, climbing videos. 
uh, you'll see but so this rope instead of running right here in the middle right where I'm working and trying to do my sticks and everything because of that slight offset which I like I can put this right over here and it's outside of my arm it's over here outside of my arm like this where I'm working on a tree so I, I kind of really like it so um, like I said when I got it I was showing John I was like let look off looks awesome but with the rings you're gonna have to give more slack than you do with the loops and I was telling him he's like yeah let me make you another one I said no 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 this one is exactly what I want this is going to work perfect for me and there's a little hidden bonus in there for the way I climb that just happens to be the way it ended up being works great for me so I'm very excited now when I'm in a tree this evens out these lineman belt loops are out of the way um, there's not a lineman belt on it so they just kind of fold in nice and tight nothing flopping around so I'm very happy with this design but uh, just know that like I said yours when you see me climbing in this harness and you're watching me out there if you're like well this lineman belt loop is way back here no it's not way back there it's not way back there it's, it's back there because of the fact that the way mine is made yours would not be that way they would be centered perfectly just like this not this slight shift that I have it just I like this one I'm not getting rid of it and I'm not sending it back and like I said if I decide I want to next year maybe I'll have them do it then but uh, so far I'm really enjoying climbing with it and I'm not trading it's kind of one of those uh, little fluke you know learning curve things that turned out to be something that I'm using to my own advantage and uh, I'm excited about so but these are your different variables like I said you can get it with these rings on here if you want them um, you know if you want the rings I, I personally I, I like the rings but I've also climbed with rings most of all my other harnesses have been rings uh, I like the sideways connection of them which means so for example if we come in here on this when I come in to hook onto a ring I like the fact that it's always open there is no way that can possibly close it is 100% always open and I like this approach coming in this way okay it's very quick very easy to come in find that ring and bite right into that okay it's not you still got to fish a little bit if it's leaning against there to make sure you're in just like on a strap one but I like coming in this way I'm taking this rope and I'm going to throw it around the tree get that locked on I'm going to throw this around a tree and catch it then I'm going to come in it's natural to come in like this and hook that way for me okay I like this I'm throw I catch it I'm coming in and I'm hooking right on that ring like that the straight up and down of a strap coming under or coming on above is just a little little different for me to to take this throw it around that tree grab it and do this I, I'm not used to that I've always done this so for me I like the rings um, they do add a little bit of weight they are aluminum but they are going to add some extra money and they are going to add a little bit of weight but they are an option there is not a tremendous difference though in function between using that or using the loop the loop works just as good too okay see it's, I mean it's not a, it's not a huge difference you come in you catch the loop you know they stay open very well to be able to get your carabiner in there so it's not a big deal or you use the rings whichever you prefer me personally I am very excited about all three of these harnesses they're gonna do perfect they're gonna keep you safe weight is transferred through the leg system so when you pull on this watch right here it's all it's all legs it's if you were to fall it comes up nice and high on your body it's not gonna let you tip over backwards or flip it's going to support you same as a rock climbing harness would and it's all from the front and all transfers through your legs the hip belt basically is there but it's just keeping you keeping you in but it's this the legs take all of the energy they want to pull your legs up and support through there so the system is beautiful a great harness setup I hope you check it out I hope you enjoy it and uh, but like I said if you're seeing me climbing some of these things in the future as well too if you're gonna say well your linemen belts look like they're shifted and stuff understand that it uh, was a prototype version of this ring one the first one ever made and uh, I had it made a little bit smaller than I normally would you could see all the extra slack I have in here see all this slack that was so that I could go smaller in size because uh, I'm hoping to lose weight and get smaller in size which will put these perfectly um, so I'm, I'm super stoked about this but you cannot go wrong with any of the systems that you're seeing quick detach fixed buckle uh, with lineman belt loops or with rings the options are there for you they are on his website they are on the order form uh, it is the TBWS safety harness is what it is made by Tacta Saddle and but like I said quality of this thing incredible just I mean 
top shelf all the way around. I love this harness. He did such a good job with it. I'm so excited about it. So there you go. Thanks for watching.